Hi <laughs> YouTube, it's me, Zipster. I'm back. Uh, you know, I, I got so crazy nutty over this uh, looking for the real Zipster dude that I forgot to tell you what I was actually going to be talking about. And uh, so I'm here to do that. You know, I was very sorry to hear that the crocodile hunter Steve Urban, is that his name? Or something like that. Uh, you know, I was very sorry to hear that he ran into a tragic accident because. Quite frankly, I'm qu qu kind of a crocodile person myself. I had this alligator that I bought, you know, an American Cayman, which is, you know, about six inches long when I bought it. They are so cute. But they're never really cuddly, but they're very cute. So I bought this uh, in maybe 1974, and the band had a, you know, I always lived with my bands and we would move from house to house and blah, 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 blah. When we'd wreck one house, we'd move to another one. You know how rock and roll is. But, uh, you know, Jane, like when I first got her, she would eat like little, uh, you know, guppy. Who is it? Why are these people emailing me? I'm freaking... This is from that dude. I'm the real... Oh, zipster. I'm still freaked out of that. Anyway. So when I first got her, she would eat like, you know, like little guppies and stuff. And then she moved up to like goldfish. And then like we moved to another house and she went from a 25 gallon tank to a 50 gallon tank. And she moved up to like really big goldfish. And then we moved to another house and she moved up to like a 100 gallon tank. And then she started eating mice. So like the deal was, I would give Jane a mouse. Like, you know, once a week they're supposed to eat. So I throw a, a mouse in with Jane once a week. And you know what? These mice would get so smart. Like, not in the beginning they didn't. But after a while, they were like, if we sit on her frickin' head, she can't even get us. So like an everyday occurrence, every time you walk past, past this huge tank, there would be Jane sitting there with a mouse on her head. And after two weeks, I would, I would, you know, release the mouse because it's like, you are so smart. You avoided her big fucking clutches for so long. You can go outside now and have a good time. So, um, it was one New Year's Eve. Well, I had moved into this dank apartment because I was always living in these spacious houses in New Jersey with my band with big bay windows and all this. And her aquarium would always be bathed in light. Then I moved into this little apartment in Yonkers where all I had for her was like a cubby hole. And there wasn't really a lot of light. And from the minute I moved her in there till, you know, I don't want to get to that part yet. From the minute I moved her in there, she didn't eat a lick. She wouldn't eat anything. She was so bummed out because she didn't have a beer, I guess. So, it's like New Year's Eve and all my friends are with Tracy and Brenda and Karen and Carolyn. I don't really think there were any guys there. Yeah, well, who cares? So, it's like just after midnight, we are drunk as skunks and we hear this, this like clapping sound coming over from like the cubby hole area. And I run over there and Jane is like, climbing up the side of the tent trying to get out and her jaws are like spasmodic -ing. and she's like freaking and all of a sudden she just kaboom drops over backward dead totally flat dead i am like oh my god i can't believe my alligator died on new year's eve so we're like well what are we gonna do and i'm like i can't touch dead stuff so my friend Tracy's like, well, if you give me another bottle of wine and some other mints, I'll take it out. So she drank a bottle of wine and we gave her other mints and she took it out. And we were also exchanging uh, Christmas presents that night. So there were like, like a lot of package boxes around and stuff. So we put it in one of the Christmas package boxes and we like tied it like four corner like you tie a package because the garbage was coming in the morning. I'm like, fine, I'll just put it out for the garbage. So, Jane got tied up and set out with the garbage. So, the next morning, we're up in my kitchen, which is just overlooking the outside. This is on Jervis Road in Yonkers, New York. Yeah, I love the deer. And we're all having breakfast, sitting around the table. And all of a sudden, we hear a terrible screaming and hollering. From the, whoa, 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 screaming and hollering from the street. 
and we look out and it had rained the whole freaking night long okay and uh, there was this black dude who was with the garbage people and he apparently picked up Jane's box like by the ribbons and because of all the rain she the, the cardboard deteriorated and she slid out like right on its feet this dude was freaking like only a black dude could freak let me tell you um, so yeah I know what it's like to be a crocodile hunter myself uh, my deepest regards and you know may you I don't even know how to do that because I'm not Catholic I'm some kind of Lutheran or something I don't even remember what I am but uh, blessings to you Steve uh, you know too bad that sting I got ya and man I'm talking way too much thank you <laughs>